everyone, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be doing a video about what makeup means to me. And last night I couldn't sleep, so I was just thinking about stuff, and for the past couple of days I didn't really have much inspiration on what to do a video for for this channel, and I haven't had that experience many times since I made this channel, but um, you know, it happens. And I was watching a video by Organize Like Jen, and I love her, she also has a channel, My Housewife Life, and I'll put those links down below. But I was watching her video on, um, she was talking about organization, and she was also talking about like how it plays into her life and stuff like that. And she was giving advice to different groups of people like students, newlyweds, housewives, and people with busy jobs and stuff like that. And one of the things she really stressed was having me time and that really hit home because I'm a full-time student I have when I'm at school I have a job that I work 15 hours a week like it's a pretty busy time now that I'm on summer break it's much more relaxed but it is still busy like I'm still having to do things every single day I have a job that I'm working on and it's still busy I don't have like 100% free time and it really is important to still do things that make you happy and do it for yourself not for other people and that's why I started this channel I did it because I really enjoyed watching videos and I would catch myself like pretending that I was talking to the camera and stuff like that like when I would do my makeup or when I would find a new product I'd be like oh I really wish I had someone to tell and that's why I started this YouTube channel and I'm so glad that I did because I just love it I really am so glad that I did it and I got the courage to do it because I was really nervous at first to do it but now that I've done it, I have never looked back and I really enjoy it, especially the interaction between me and you guys. And thank you so much for all the support that you've given me. I still can't believe that people watch my videos and subscribe and comment, but that's a different story. When I was watching her video and she was talking about me time, it really hit home and I realized that makeup is my me time, getting ready is my me time, shopping for things and doing this whole YouTube channel is my me time but especially doing my makeup and just like a lot of people I don't have great days every day and you always have down days and it's really important to reflect on that and not ignore it and not like get sucked up into it because like bad feelings can thrive if you focus on them too much but if you focus on other things to get your mind off it you can overcome those bad feelings and that's something that I realized within the past year or two and I'm so glad that I did I realized that doing my makeup in the morning and having ample time to get ready and just be relaxed has really helped especially with like anxiety or stress or depression or anything like that and some people might think that makeup is petty or you might be or they might view people as fake if they wear makeup and I don't believe any of that. I don't know why they would think that. Um, I guess they think that people are insecure if they wear makeup but that might be the case but it's not always the case. And I wear makeup because it makes me feel good. I don't feel like myself when I don't wear makeup and I think it's part of who I am as a person. I've always liked makeup. I was finding some things from when I was a kid and I would draw nail designs on pieces of paper. I just have always loved makeup, clothes, all of that stuff and it's part of who I am and you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are so I I am the first person to admit that I love makeup and I wear makeup almost every single day and it's not because I'm trying to impress someone it's because it makes me feel good and it makes me feel like myself. Last fall after I got out of a long-term relationship I was going through a really rough patch and anyone who has had their heart broken understands how that is and I didn't feel like myself like I felt like part of me was missing and 
it, I just wasn't myself. And I didn't wear makeup for like a week or two. And one day I decided, screw it, I'm just gonna put on my makeup, put on a cute outfit, and I'm just gonna like start fresh and I'm gonna be who I am and I'm not gonna let this heartbreak control my life. And I had a great day that day. And I'm not saying by wearing makeup, you will have an amazing day every single day. But since it is part of who I am, I think it truly helped me realize that I could move on. And by doing things that I loved, that was just for me and not for anyone else, it helped me get over the heartbreak. And of course it took a very long time, but doing those little things really helps in the long run. And Lisa Eldridge did a video a few weeks ago, I think, about um, makeup therapy. And I thought that was a brilliant video. I really did. And a lot of people commented and were like, why would you say that makeup is what, like, will make you feel better? That's not it. That's so shallow. And I understand where they're coming from, but I guess they don't think that makeup is part of who they are. But if it is part of who you are, you should embrace it and you should love it and you should not care if people think that you're fake for wearing it or whatever because you know the truth. You know that you just do it because you love it. And another thing, at least for me with makeup, is that it's what helps me relax. When I do my makeup in the morning, that is when I can completely focus on something other than anything going on in my life. I don't have to think about, oh, I have a paper due in a week and I have no idea where to start or I have so much at work to do. Life can be very overwhelming. It's extremely important to have time in every single day that you just relax and do something that gets your mind off it. Be it watch TV for 30 minutes or an hour and just completely veg. Or for me, it's doing my makeup. And I do take a while in the morning to get ready with my shower and getting ready like when I'm going especially slow in the summer. Probably takes me between 30 and 45 minutes maybe an hour if I'm trying to do false lashes, but that's when I can just relax. And when I'm at school and I have a million things going on, sometimes I'll take a break and watch YouTube videos if that's what mood I'm in, or I will take a break. If I'm not wearing makeup, I'll start doing my makeup and I might do something crazy that I've never tried before. I love experimenting with my makeup. I have quite a bit, not as much as some people do, but more than the average girl, but I love putting things together and putting looks together that might be outrageous and are probably not everyday looks, but it makes me feel so much better and it just helps me relax. So I love makeup. Makeup is not my life, but makeup is part of who I am. And I'm so glad that there is this beauty community out there that most people don't even know about, even though there are probably over a million of us watching these videos, watching different people, commenting, all of this. It's it's an amazing thing, it really is. And it was amazing to be just a viewer and sometimes a commenter before I started this channel. And now it's amazing to make these videos and have viewers and have people to talk to about it. It's just so cool that there are all these people out there who love the same thing I do and who think that makeup is part of who they are and who like to talk about it and don't think it's silly or just like a silly girl thing. Like boys have cars, they like really expensive things and they can let us have our makeup. Like we, we like what we like and we know what we like. So 
I just thought that I really wanted to make this video because I was really inspired to talk about this and I would love to hear what makeup means to you. If you could leave a comment or send me a message or even a video response, I would love to read or watch them. I <laughs> am just really blessed that I have viewers that like to talk to me and all of that and I know I only have like 35 subscribers at least that's what it was like yesterday but I can't believe 35 people are like subscribed to me and watch me that blows my mind honestly um I'm just really thankful and I really wanted to make this video to share what I think about makeup but also to thank you for being really genuinely sweet subscribers and I consider you guys my friends. I'm, I would never call you my fans. I know some people on here say that their viewers are their fans and I don't, um, I'm just a girl, you know, like I'm just a girl who sits in front of her window with a camera in front of her and talks to it and then posts it on YouTube and somehow people watch it. So I don't think I'm a celebrity and I never will, that's not who I am at all, but I just wanted to thank you so much for being part of my life and trust me, I do think about you guys when I go shopping or when I have like an idea for a video, I, s I write it down on this paper. I am a list maker, so I make lists a lot, especially for YouTube. I have like a whole um, like little booklet of ideas and brainstorms and stuff like that. But um, this video is sort of like two in one. So I hope you didn't mind my rambling. I really like making these videos where I can just talk to you guys and just share my thoughts and stuff. I don't know when I will have another video up. The rest of this week is extremely busy. I have family up from all different parts of the country and it's really exciting that they're here but it is very hard to just sit down and make a video for you guys. But hopefully one of these days I will do like a get ready with me because those are simple. I just set up the camera when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. But also, I'm leaving for vacation on Sunday, so I won't be here from Sunday the 29th until August 4th, so I'm gone for six days. And I don't think I'll have time to put up any videos, and I don't really like pre-recording videos. I like to be, like, I like to make a video today, this is the 25th, and I like to upload it on the 25th, if at all possible. So I probably won't have a video up next week, but I do have ideas for upcoming videos. I have um, some on this list, but I am also going to do some videos about like college and what to pack for college, college, college essentials, those types of videos. If you have any requests, please leave them down below. I don't ask for requests enough, but if you have any videos that you would like me to do, please leave them in a comment or message me, Twitter, anything like that. And thank you all so much for watching and for supporting this channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.